Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to Headlines. Question: What's your attitude towards money? But the question is too general to answer, right? Part of the answer depends on when you're born. If you were born in the 60s or 80s, you lived a relatively frugal life, as majority of people did. But if you are a millennial or Gen Zer, new problems emerge. Even though life has been significantly improved, and today let's find out the youngsters' attitude towards money through Bloomberg. 七零后、八零后出生的人，物质生活相对匮乏；但是到了九零后、零零后呢，物质生活极大丰富，贫富差距也越来越大。年轻人面临新的财务焦虑。那我们今天就来看看 how money dysmorphia traps millennials and Gen Zers. The prefix dys means abnormal or disorder. You must know dystopia. 嗯，反乌托邦 or dysfunction 功能紊乱。Okay, morph 学过了 ，morph into 变成什么东西 ？Dysmorphia 就是畸形，金钱的畸形化。Traps 困住了九零后和零零后。Never hesitant to rebrand existing phenomenon. Millennials and their Gen Z frenemies are admitting to have money dysmorphia, a feeling of insecurity around their financial situation, even when the true picture reveals little cause for concern. 43% of Gen Z and 41% of millennials said that they suffer from a flawed perceptions of their finances. While it might sound like another form of a TikTok-induced anxiety, money dysmorphia is a real problem that can cause someone to make poor or ill-formed decisions. Brand is a brand, right? Rebrand is to reshape or rename, 重塑重命名 Say rebrand America, 重塑美国 And rebrand a phenomenon is rename the phenomenon, 重新命名了一个现象 Frenemy is a self-contradicting word, juxtaposing friends and enemies. Another example. You two slept together. That is awesome. Admit to something is to accept something. 一敌一友的九零后和零零后都接受了这个已经存在的老现象的新命名。Okay, money dysmorphia. 虽然事实上没有什么可担心的，但他们觉得自己的财务上没有安全感。A flawed perception, 有缺陷的感知 You could also say a flawed tool or character or a study. TikTok induced anxiety. 啊，这是个好词，有社交媒体引发的焦虑 Induce is to trigger or lead to, right? The surgery would induce a heart attack. Ill followed by an adjective like advised or informed implies the opposition. Ill advised, 不明智的 Ill informed, 消息不灵通的 or ill fated, 时运不济的畸形的金钱观会导致年轻人做出错误的决定。Having a financial perspective rooted in fear rather than fact is nothing new. Those of us with grandparents belonging to the greatest generation will recognize the Depression era scarcity mentality. A nut brain in which finances were tight will have a lifelong impact on how one thinks and interacts with money.、Uh, the trouble with money dysmorphia is that it can distort the thinking of someone whose lived experience is not one of the scarcity. But of stability, scarcity mentality, 匮乏感 Scarcity is scarce 的名词啊，稀缺 Upbringing is the way you were nursed when you were young. 一种抚养的方式或成长的方式吧 She had a Christian upbringing. 抚养费就是 our brain payment. 对于在大萧条时期成长起来的人来说，经济紧张的成长环境会对人一生的金钱观都会有影响。现在 money dysmorphia 可以扭曲 distort the thinking of someone， 扭曲一些人的想法。什么样的人呢？不是生活经验匮乏的那些人，而是相对稳定的那波人。A major shift for both generations compared with previous ones is the constant access to the information, both in the news and social media. Millennials and Gen Zers keep hearing how tough we have it, how hard and expensive it is to buy a home, how much it costs to raise children and secure children care, how big corporations, once seen as beacons for young, ambitious people, are now slashing jobs, but they can lead to an unhealthy narrative in someone's head that says the other shoe could drop at any moment. 年轻的一代可以随时访问新闻和互联网，随时都能看到买房子、生孩子是件如此辛苦的事情。曾经灯塔般存在的大公司 Beacon 灯塔，现在正在 slashing jobs. Slash job is to lay off employees. And the toughness of life we got from the internet and our parents seems inevitable, like the other shoes that would drop at any time. 刚才说到那些生活的艰辛啊，是等待另一只鞋掉落的过程。Adding the anxiety or images on social media, featuring people showing off luxury consumer goods, flying first class to expensive destinations, and dining in notorious, difficult to book restaurants, it's easy to see why 45% of millennials and Gen Z reported being obsessed with being rich. 
When you start with the pessimistic assessment of your own future, it's hard to imagine that your finances will improve in a normal course of your life and career. Notorious is well known for something bad, but it can be neutral occasionally. 这个词大多数情况下指的是臭名昭著的，但是有一小部分是可以认为是众所周知的。比如说文中的这个场景 ，notoriously difficult to book restaurants. 这些 anxiety 是通过社交媒体上这些奢侈品啊、旅游啊等等图片的方式呈现在年轻人眼前的。现在年轻人非常执着于变富啊 ，be obsessed with。当你对于未来有着消极的评价，你很难去想象通过正常的生活和工作途径提升财务状况。Do you guys feel the same? When should get rich at young age has has been channeled to us from all over the internet. Yet instead of being a constant state of uneasy, millennials and Gen Z could ground themselves by doing the math on what amount of money would make them sleep easier. Fixating on this nebulous goal like getting rich isn't helpful compared with putting numbers on the page and the timeline in place. Fixate on 就是我们常说的纠结 White House rips media for fixating on Biden's age. 白宫批评媒体纠结于拜登的年龄 Nebulous comes from nebula, 星云啊 A nebulous goal is a vague and unclear goal. 不那么清晰的目标 The great thing about British values is how nebulous and undefined they are. 与其纠结于变富这样模糊的目标，不如写下具体的数字和你的时间安排 I like this article. Not only does it offer some insights about the attitudes of young people towards money, but also the language useful and practical. You could find plenty of descriptive adjectives and adverbs, and that would be helpful for your writing. So I hope you would enjoy reading this article as I did, and I'll see you next time.